I'm setting out on a journey to find the fastest and the most affordable web hosting for all of my WordPress websites and I need your input. I was hoping you could guide me to finding that one hosting service that we all will benefit from and I'm looking for US based servers. Now if you've been following my channel, you know I've been creating WordPress tutorials, reviews and comparisons on many different domains and now I need to find a new home for all of my websites. As with the last huge experiment I did to find the fastest WordPress team where I made identical web pages and did some tests with it, I managed to identify GeneratePress as the fastest WordPress team followed by Cadence WP and the intention was clear. I did that experiment for me because I needed the answer for my business and while finding that answer, it will benefit you as well and I'm going to do the same with web hosting. To be honest, I have two web hosting services right now. One is due for renewal on December 3rd this year and the other is on February 16, 2022. If I'm going to renew both of the services, it will cost me a total of $1,257.63, which is a lot of money and I'm not prepared to do that. Well, to be fair, here is the breakdown. I have a GoGeek plan with SiteGround and previously I signed up with them for 3 years and now 3 years is almost up. So if I'm going to renew, which is in February next year, I will go for another 3 years because that will bring my hosting plan to $27.99 per month. If I only go for a 1 year renewal, it will cost me $39.99 per month, which doesn't make sense and going for three years is going to cost me a thousand seven dollars and sixty four cents now my second hosting plan is with wpx hosting they were one of the fastest hosting service providers at that time in 2019 although they are expensive i thought i would give them a go and test it out so the wpx hosting plan will cost me 249 dollars and 99 cents a year equating to 20 dollars and 83 cents per month if i go for the money plan it is going to cost me 24.99 so in total it's going to cost me $1,257 if I go with the flow, which I'm not prepared to do because of a few factors. Now, I want to first declare that I have no ill intentions towards either of the service providers. What I'm going to share with you is purely my opinion based on my personal experience. Let's talk about WPX first. I don't have much complaints about it other than it being restricted to W3 total cache for speed optimization. Whenever I ask them about speed optimization, they always say it is best to follow their specific settings with W3 total cache but I don't really like to use that plugin because it is not user friendly and it feels dated. Personally, I prefer using WP Rocket. And when I ask them about speed optimization questions, they always direct me to an article to read which doesn't really give me an answer. Other than that, whenever it comes to site being down or whatever, especially those critical and technical stuff, they will help you solve it quickly. The service is expensive as expected, but I would probably renew the service if it didn't restrict me to only 5 websites. I really love WPX because the load time of my website is awesome even if I use WP Rocket. So the only thing that is stopping me from renewing WPX is the quantity restrictions. Now when it comes to SiteGround, it's a whole different story. It was touted as one of the fastest and most affordable hosting services a few years back and I can vouch for that, but recently it has been in decline. I noticed that whenever I run a Google page insights test on either of my websites, it will always run into this reduced initial server response time. Now you can argue that this issue could have been caused by the plugins, the codes, or the team that I'm using, but I get this problem even for a brand new WordPress site and that means something, right? I've contacted support and nothing can be done. And then in June 2021, they increased their price from $3.95 per month for the first year to $6.99 per month for the startup plan. And from $5.95 to $9.99 for the Grow Big plan. And then from $11.95 to $14.99 for the Go Geek plan. And what got me riled up is when they changed their Go Big plan from the ability to host unlimited websites to only two websites. And for the Go Geek plan, it was from unlimited websites to only five. So the price went up, but the service level went down. But they got too many negative feedback on that and they decided to bring the unlimited websites back. Well, the change doesn't really affect me as an existing customer, but just imagine how is it like for new users. It's going to cost them a lot of money for a lower level of service. This makes me think the company doesn't really care much about its customers, but that's just my opinion. And to top it off, in the past, it was very easy for you to find live chat on their website. In case your site goes down, the live chat was just a click away. But now, they have built layers and layers of walls before you get to speak to somebody. I don't know about you, but it gives me an indicator of how much they care about their customers. But to be honest, their support team is one of the best in the industry and I think it still is. But somehow or rather, all these little little things adds up and that drives me towards the direction of leaving SiteGround. But on the other 
other hand, they have recently upgraded the PHP versions of their servers from 7.3 to 7.4, and they have introduced a new security plugin, which is beneficial for their customers. So I'm in limbo now. I would really appreciate if you let me know in the comments if I should stay with SiteGround. If you give me some very good reasons, I might consider staying, but I'm definitely leaving WPX because I need to host more than five websites. And their other plans for more websites are very expensive. Anyway, apologies for my little rant. Here are the main things I need your help with. My journey to finding the fastest and the most affordable web hosting is going to be long and hard, and I think it will benefit you as well. And that's why I'm doing this. The thing is, I'm not a technical person, although I do understand the principles, but all I care about is the performance over theory. I don't care if a web host is using the Injix technology or the Lightspeed technology or whatever. I care about how it performs. And that's the first criteria. And the second criteria is how enticing is the web hosting plan in general. We'll measure the price, the security or whatever. So out of these six criteria of a web host, the speed, the security, the uptime, the price, ease of use, which means how easy easy it is for you to set up your WordPress website and how easy it is for you to transfer files and access the features. And finally, the support. I want to know how you rank all these features of a web hosting service. Number one being the most important and number six being the least because once I get this information from you, it will shape how I do all my comparison videos. Plus, if you can share with me as well the hosting providers you would like me to look into to do a comparison video with SiteGround, I would really appreciate that. Once again, I'm looking for US-based servers that aren't expensive and you can host unlimited websites on them. So these are the things I need your help with. If you can rank these criteria in order of its importance from number one being the most important and number six being the least, and you can share with me a list of web hosting companies you would like me to take a look into. If you can put them down in the comments of this video, that would be amazing. Anyway, thank you so much for supporting me and the channel. No words can describe how I appreciate your little thumbs up on my videos. And do subscribe to my channel if you are new here and check this video on how I did my experiment to find the fastest WordPress team and you'll probably get to know more about how I roll. Take care, stay awesome and stay safe.